Welcome to Summer Centerville. How beautiful is it out and how beautiful has it been? It is so nice to be able to get together, greet one another, see each other without mask on, shake hands and just say hello. Congratulations to all of our students, those who have graduated this year. You've done a phenomenal job of going to school, staying dedicated and getting your studies done. And we have graduates from fifth grade, eighth grade and even high school. As a former coach, though, I'd be remiss not to mention that I am really excited about and really grateful for all of the athletes that put in the hard work and the dedication in order to achieve in their sports. Right now, we have a girls softball team that is in the state tournament and achieving. We have two runners who have made it to state and one of them has even qualified for nationals. We even have a soccer player, a girl soccer player, who has qualified or who has been rewarded or awarded as the state Gatorade Player of the Year. So that's really exciting in our Centennial area and I'm so proud of all of those students. This summer, the fact that we're able to get back together, we have big plans for Centerville. We already have music in the parks. We started this last week. They're gonna have an ongoing schedule Tuesday nights at 6.30. Please check our website so that you can see which bands are playing and what may interest you. And come on up here to Hidden Springs Park where we're standing at right now. We also have a very robust schedule for our Fet the Locks, and we're really excited about all of the events that we have planned this year. There are new activities and new events, and we hope that you will check the schedule and come and be a part of it. We're looking for people, though, to be a part of it and helping out, whether it's for 15, 20 minutes to help out with the parade, just setting up, or whether it's being in part of, a part of a committee. We would really enjoy you being a part of your city. We also have, though, on Thursday nights, we have our regular ski show that's gonna start off in July. Joining our water ski show, we also have the Main Street Market, which people are going to come and be able to enjoy food trucks, enjoy vendor sales, and if you wanna be a part of that, you're welcome to sign up for that as well. So, a lot of great events coming up this summer in Centerville. I'd also like to say, though, that our city hall, your city hall, is open please come on up and visit. We have opportunities for people to serve in our city. We have an opening on planning and zoning. We have an opening in park and rec. We have opportunities to work in the gardens. There are so many things that you can do to become part of our city. But with, with that being said, I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you. Thank you to the people who have done so much work for our city, even those that have started off this year and those who have been involved for years. And thank you to our businesses. Our Fed Deluxe has raised so much money to make sure to help keep those events that we like to make a part of the festival free for the citizens of Centerville. So your city council has recently just approved the plans for a quick trip on the north east side of town. We also approved plans for a memory care. So we're excited about those two businesses coming to our town and building on that vacant land that's been there for a long time. We also have a lot of homes being built. Everywhere you drive around town, you see new construction going up. So we're a town that's growing. We're a town that people want to be a part of. And that is really exciting for the city of Centerville. The city owns some land, very little bit, but we do own some. And in that land, we really follow what was planned for that land. There's a long process that we have laid out called a comprehensive plan. And that comprehensive plan is looked at every 10 years, refreshed, renewed. And there are things that are put into place as to what we should follow and how we should go about it. And there's a lot of time and effort put into putting together that comprehensive plan. So in the land that we have right downtown here, that land was scheduled to have multiple housing units on it. So we sold it and we're going to build townhomes on it. So that's a pretty nice project for us. There are other land, though, that we do not own as a city. So we allow those landowners and those developers to come to us as a city and ask us about different projects that they would like to build. Sometimes those projects fit right within the zoning that is planned for, and it's easy. They, they send us the plans, they let us know what it is, they file their permits, and off they go. Other times they're asking for projects that are for things that aren't zoned exactly the way that it is. So then we have to go through a process to make sure that we give it due consideration for that landowner and then make a decision based on what's best for the city as a whole. If you're interested in what's going on around the city though, I would encourage you to sign up for the city email. We send out emails maybe once or twice a week, at most every other week or so, just to make sure that you have information about what's going on in your city. And we would love to get you signed up. You can either go to our website 
or call City Hall and we'd be very interested in, in helping you getting signed up. So there's a couple of aspects of public safety. We're about to hit the one year mark for the hiring of Chief Mork. And what a great job he has done in that one year. We're very proud of that decision that we made and we will not feel any angst about him staying on with our department. One of the things that Chief Mork says is he likes his officers to leave each situation better than it was when they arrived. So that whole thought process really allows our police department to build a great relationship with the citizens and it allows them to do their job in a safe manner. As you may have heard though, we've also made a big decision to hire Spring Lake Park Blaine Moundsview Fire Department to be the chief of our Centennial Fire. Well, Centennial Fire will remain Centennial Fire, so that's very important. But with that, we will hire their chief to help us with our training, to help us with our administration. And we believe Chief Smith over at SBM Fire will do a good job for us as well. So we're excited about that transition. I do want to take this opportunity to once again thank the citizens of Centerville. Thank all that have volunteered to be a part of the city. Thank you all that have lived in the city. Thank you all that have sacrificed to make sure that we have remained safe throughout this pandemic, as possible at least. But I do also want to end with, we are stronger together. Have a great summer.